Let me tell you what's going on here. A couple days ago, on a really windy day, I decided I would finally stop screwing around with my life and become what I should have always been. A cartoonist doing a daily comic strip, or maybe one every few days, and then taking that all the way to Hollywood, baby, just like Garfield and Charlie Brown did. Because maybe I ain't got friends. Maybe I got no family. Maybe I got a crappy job doing food delivery. But one thing I do have, rocking dinosaur, right? Is that's what I would work. Disney had Mickey, Henson had Kermit. I have rocking dinosaur. Anyone uses them right now, I could sue them for all their money. It's mine. And I started, started just doing them every day, nearly every day on my computer. And then I uploaded them to the webcomic websites and the comments underneath them that you're putting there. Okay, I guess I can't just do a good comic anymore. I got to come on here and explain it. Everyone's gotten too stupid. Here is why the first one made total sense and was so good. Now, Rockin' Dinosaur, what does he do? Uh, the name? See, this is why kids love him, are gonna love him, because he rocks hard and he likes to party. So when he sees a bunch of idiots smashing stuff, he's gonna think it's a party. That's, it's not him making the mistake. See, the wisdom of Rockin' Dinosaur is that he steers people into better knowledge so that if there's a bunch of idiots smashing up property, he's going to say, why not do this to party hard? Because that's how you get back at the bow ties. You rock all night long right in their face. I can't believe I had to explain this one. But go ahead and subscribe right now so that you could say you joined up early when this was all still a dream idea in one man's head. Mine. I'm not going to do anything, so just subscribe.